Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing great today. In today's lesson, we are going to look at how to query the data file. In our previous lesson, we briefly talked about the dynamic performance views. Okay, so today we are going to look at how to query your data files. As a database administrator, you know, one of the things you should be able to do is to know how to use most of these views and then get details of your data files, your control files, your term files, and the rest of them. So if you look at my screen, I already put up um, some of the, the commands you're going to be using, some of the, the SQL commands you're going to be running. Now, the first thing to do is to show con name, that's to show the container where you are. So I'm currently in the root container, okay? I'm currently in the root database. Um, one of the things I want to do again is to check the status of the pluggable databases. Okay, so I'm going to run this. It's a select name open mode con ID from V dollar sign PDBS. Okay, let me check. Hmm. So out of all the pluggable databases, it's just ORCL PDB that is open for read write operations. Okay, now I'm going to run this query to select my data file. It says select file name, file ID, table space name, con ID from cdb underscore data underscore files. Okay, now because I'm in the root container and also the pluggable database is open, it will give me the result of both the cdb dollar sign root and then the pluggable database orcl pdb so let's analyze our output you can see that we have data files for container id1 which is our container database our um, root database and then container id3 which is our pluggable database orcl pdb Another thing you want to look at is the file name. You can see the location of the file, and then you can see users01.dbf. So your data file must have the extension .dbf. And the amazing thing is you can actually see these data files if you go to your operating system to check the location of these data files. So let me quickly open our server and then get to the location of the file. First again, I'm going to show us the path is slash u01 slash app slash oracle slash oradata orocl and then we can see the data files. Okay, so let's go to our server and then look at it. So I've just opened the directory and then I'll click on other locations um, come to computer and then get to u01 app oracle oradata orocl. Now, if you look carefully, you'll be able to see a whole lot of files. You see control files, you see redo log files, you know. And then if you look carefully now, you see files that end with .dbf. This is 6ox.dbf. And then this is system.dbf. So this is your sysox data file, system data file, temp data file undo table space data file, and then of course your user's data file. So can you see that you can actually get to a physical location of your data files? Okay, so this is basically what um, today's lecture is, is all about. Now, before I go, I want to show you something again. Let me quickly close this, and then I want to run the same query, but this time I'm not using the cdb underscore data underscore files but I'm using the dba underscore data underscore files. And then let's see what happens. Okay. If I do this, it gives me only four data files. Why is that so? Because I am in the root database. Because I am in the root database, if I use the dba underscore data underscore files, it gives me only the data files that are found in the root database. 
Now let's try to alter the session. Let me move to the pluggable database and see what the output will look like. So I'll quickly execute this alter session set container equal to ORCL PDB. You already know these commands by now. We've been using it ever since we started this lecture. So I'll just alter and then you can see session has been altered. Okay, now let me run the same query again. What did you observe? You can see ORCL PDB now. So it's showing me only the data files that are resident in the pluggable database ORCL PDB. So this is basically the difference. If you use the DBA underscore data underscore files, it will show you the container, the data files for the container you are logged in. So guys, this is just a simple way to show you how to query your data files. I hope this video was interesting to you. If it was, kindly like it and share it widely. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out whenever I upload another valuable content. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.